One thing I'm happy to hear in this video is that this particular police officer says, I know all about sovereign citizens. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Common Sense Academy. I'm your host, Joe Palmetto. Joe, the lawyer. I know it's been about a month since I've been putting content up. I have been extremely busy with work. I've had some problems with my teeth. Tooth problems are the worst. So I've been out of commission when it comes to making videos, but I'm back and I got a funny one for you today. An officer makes a stop of a sovereign citizen and he has some fantastic quotes. So thank you, everybody, for joining joining me. If you would, please, as I make my official return, raise your cup, your glass in the air. Cheers with me. It tastes better when we sip together the same time sip. Cheers. Ah, delicious. All right, now let's watch this video. Is your fresh back? Uh, signing here where it says signature, no admission of guilt. Saying you'll either come back to court on September 21st, 2021, at 1 o'clock in the afternoon at the courthouse in Hillsville, Virginia, for the speeding charge, 82 and a 65 zone. Or the other option, you can call this phone number and read to the court. And they'll tell you how to pay a fine and you don't have to come back. I'll also issue a second summons for no valid driver's license. If you're signing it, same court date. What happens to the right to travel? What's you that? You don't need a license to travel. You do. No, you don't. You certainly do. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You don't need a license to drive. Right? I you understand. Travel. I'm the second one, too. What's that? Since I'm the second one, too. Yes, sir. Do you know anything about that? About traveling? I know all about sovereign citizens. So, so if he's a sovereign citizen, why would he have to present a driver's license? Thank you. I appreciate that. Because you've been so nice, I'm not going to tow your vehicle off. I'm going to let the lady in the back switch and drive. Go ahead and you can switch now. You almost got him towed, though. <laughs> this was a good one and there were two moments in this video that i just loved take a second think what you think those moments are and then i will get to them at the end of my short analysis here so these people were pulled over now it appears to me that the person video recording the officer was not the driver the person video recording was not the driver and he's the one that says that uh what happened to the right to travel and that you don't need no driver's license and this officer says to him who looks like an older but seasoned officer he says Yes, you do. Yes, you do need a driver's license in the Commonwealth of Virginia. Virginia is a Commonwealth, just like Pennsylvania, the only two Commonwealths in the 50 United States. What makes a Commonwealth different from a state? Well, the name. <laughs> I think that's about it. But these people were written up for 82 and a 65. That's 17 miles per hour over and also driving without a valid driver's license. So I don't know if that means the license was just a expired or if it was suspended it can be a world of difference when it comes to what the penalties are but there were two just great parts i love what this officer did number one number one he waved at the guy he waved at the guy who was recording the video acknowledged that he was there i think that's a nice little move and then at one point he says i know all about sovereign citizens which hey it means we're getting the word out, right? <laughs> we're getting the word out. And then, then at the end, he says, you know, I'm going to cut you a break. I'm going to, I'm not going to tow you. I'm going to allow the woman who was sitting in the back who likely had her driver's license to drive the vehicle. And then he looks at the guy recording and he says, you almost got them towed. <laughs> 
just priceless, just priceless. And I'm sure you all know this, but man, as an attorney, I do criminal defense, I do traffic tickets, I do DUIs. I can tell you the number one factor when you go to court and you're trying to get a break on a ticket is how you treated the officer, what you did in that transaction. And having a sovereign citizen in your backseat is not gonna help you, is not gonna help you. Hopefully, hopefully, you didn't know that your friend was a sovereign citizen because if you know, you might not want to take him for a ride. So thank you everybody for tuning in. Joe Pomato, Joe the Lawyer. This is the Common Sense Academy. If you like my content, like, subscribe, comment, and share. Also, think about checking out my book that I wrote on sovereign citizens. I'm back. I'm going to make consistent content again. Thank you, everybody. Love you guys. Peace out.